two characters perhaps known better for their zoning, but with the way that Aimer and Leo respectively play their characters, keeping with this theme so far today, they're more aggressive playstyle people. They can go in, subvert the, you know, zoning stereotypes that their characters are often subjected to. And we're going to start for a little more rockets and using that bear as a movement option. I love seeing that happen, but him and Leo already on the aggression side, but Aimer. Definitely not going to be the one outdone by this from trying to get in himself. And I love the usage of Fair. That was one of the best strategies that Meat Gunner had in Smash 4 from how much momentum that Fair used. But Aimer making it work, trying to camp him out and trying to get some space possible. And does have a full charge shot available. Able to go down with the Leaf Shield to interrupt that. And they got that one so far, but the Leaf Shield will shred through and hit himself. Aimer barely able to attack on any damage from himself. That's just a statement of showing how MM Leo is playing this match. Crash Bombers on top of him, but able to absorb it with that down special. Using the side specials, the Rockets coming in, trying to buy him some time so he can get it out, but the Fair catches him out for a little more damage. He's using the Fair once more, but he gets spiked through the Oblivion, and then Leo with the first stock of his own. Hard Knuckle gonna be the kill there, and immediately attaches the Crash Bomber on top of him. It sort of immobilizes Aimer because he's able to absorb the damage, but it sort of puts him as a sitting duck for a good two or three seconds. Yeah, and that's such a great job coming into play. It's interesting the fact that he wants to charge his shield. And look at that, Leaf Shield is so obnoxious on this character. Archa used once more. We have yet to see it hit. True. The pressure is there, but no reward. Good work for the back air. And parries that one. Leo able to find the grab afterward. Just yet, a Mert lands the true shot. Lands the shot, I should say. And charges up another one. Not fully charged up just yet, though. So he's got to be careful. Z drops the there. And actually gets a confirm off of it. I like what I'm seeing. Going above and beyond. Oh, that would have been crazy if he landed that. Crash bomb is on. going to use that to get some HP. But MM Leo knowing exactly what he's going to do. Catches him out with the lead shield. And the F-Tilt Famer kept coming into play. With the crash bomb on him. Thankfully, he's going to be okay. Grab used. And a great carry on that one. But the second smash attack will hit. And the bear's used once more. Just moving right into him. He's got the crash bomb on him. He's almost dead. That would have been so cool. Please snipes him out of the air. Aimer takes stock number three, finally. Not a moment too soon. The neutral special. He tried multiple times with that. Gets out of there with Rush. And goes for a second bounce. Trying to hit him up with all these attacks of his own. Don't use that move. Because last time, MM Leo caught you on that one. But Aimer. Gets away with it this time, getting away from the pellets as fast as he can in this situation. Look at that movement, but MM Leo was expecting it this time. Going back, actually going to be clipped twice with the same leaf shield. Uh, uses the nair, extended hitbox comes into play, and the down tilt try to be used, but instead uses the fair to get himself out of that situation. F tilt used again, and the rockets coming into play. MM Leo's got to be careful with this barrage. Yeah, that time the F smash well scattered out with Leo. You know he wants to ledge trap with that particular option. That was so close. That smash attack and that backer are so close to hitting, but Aimer tries to land a confirm of his own, but Crash Bomb is on him. Oh my goodness, he actually caught him, and he texts it as well, Aimer! I love what he's doing right now, and the crowd surely does it. He up smash takes the stop. Yeah, that's a life-saving tech from Aimer. Now he has the advantage, able to play a bit more patiently. Excellent drop, nearly found the hard knuckle. Yeah, to find it, but they get attacked. Surely gets punished with the F smash. Both of them on the last stop. Look at this, Aimer just 10 times more dangerous with Leo's saw blade in hand, but Leo able to recover it well. And you've got to be careful with those bears because Aimer's trying to use it as a movement option, but a mix-up only works out so well. But look at this, he's actually able to catch the recovery using his leaf shield as if it already wasn't good in this matchup. Jumping over that and actually getting the... Oh, he actually went above. I haven't done that thus far, and before he can able, before he's able to go for the charge blast, Aimer just applying a bit more pressure. Yeah, the pellets are just hurting, and the bear cuts off his escape attempt. Charge shot used to try to recover something. But he actually ends up with the saw blade. Oh no, regrab! Yeah, Aimer just made his own bed there with that regrab. Had to lay in it. MM Leo with a down smash and a routine end to what was an exhilarating first game. Oh yeah.
That was crazy. Like, I don't expect exciting matches between these two, but Aimer using his fair to get that movement option out of there and able to move around to do his best. But then Emma Leo was able to read those movement options in his back and forth fight. And finally, Emma Aimer actually was able to get a stock using the rage that he had. And by then, it was a little too late because Emma Leo had the download by then. Yeah, Aimer did a great job of using Leo's own projectiles against him, particularly with the crash bomber transfers and some of the absorptions, but Leo just found him going for that a bit too much. And Sword Fighter. Sword Fighter just picked out one, but easier time getting the converse. It has a reflector of his own, though, so I actually do respect this pick. Ooh. But a parry's coming to win, and it's kind of sad to say that Sword Fighter can do a better job of zoning than Knee Gunner. And arguably, is like one of the better knees. Yeah, on paper, it doesn't quite make as much sense as it does in the matchup, but with all these tornadoes and just these side specials as well, and he just needs to cycle it right now. they occupy so much space. And they easily confirm to anything. And there we go, once one side special is attacking him, but able to use Rush to get himself out of that situation. And once he gets his barrage projectiles coming in right now, a much slower match than before. Uh oh. Confirming off of the tornado into the up air. Aimer takes first blood and does so, not letting up. Not letting up on the pressure, he's just trying to once more, but Evan Leo. See, Aimer is just content. Kind of sitting from behind. But he gets grabbed up and fourth thrown off. Crash Bomb used to come with the landing. Oh! That was nuts. Yeah, that was a great setup from MM Leo. Just removed one option by attaching the Crash Bomber to the ledge. Aimer had no choice but to go high, and it was just a question of what timing he would choose. Uh, side special in order to get a little more off of that, but the up tilt. Rush use. Oh my god, he just tried to chase him out with that one, but no. Luck. And oh my god, look at that shield pressure. He's trying to get away from these hurricanes. Tornadoes? Aimer landing well. Trying to do his best. His pressure. Exchange of projectiles used once and more. Oh, it gets a confirm off the crash bomb. I love that attention right there. But MM Leo having a little bit of a hard time. Both of them on even stock. They know that one mistake can lead to the death of the other. Yeah, this is a lot more patient aimer in game two. Not making the first move unless he has to. It already has the crash bomb or attached to. And with all that shield being down, hoping for the tornado to poke, which it just doesn't. Right now, it's basically a dodgeball fight. Once I'm trying to hit with their projectiles, but the thing is, is that it's scarier for MM Leo because he you knows if he gets hit by a tornado at this percent, he is surely going to die. Well, gets away from the kill confirmed because thankfully he did hit his teammate in the he did hit Amber in the process, but no confirmed just yet. Once again, an exchange of projectiles used once again, but thankfully the saw blade comes into play. Reflector used, and our secure is landing. Oh, he landed back on stage, a big mistake. Yeah, just missed the ledge, and MM Leto made it pay with the F-Smash. Got him out of that situation. He used to call us one more jump to the last one to make sure he can knock it away. The crash bomb is on top of Aimer, thankfully, making sure that he can stay safe. Goes down and attaches the crash bomber right before he gets back. Gonna be forcing him into shield. Up special out of shield, actually. Gonna lead to MM Leo's getting his own ledge trap. Oh, the face shield actually blocked it off for a little more, so he's gonna be fine. Uh oh, he's gonna be in the trouble in the recovery. He's trying to catch him down, but thankfully he gets away. Backer used all this pressure right now. Aimer, he's gotta catch up because MM Leo is currently running away with this game. Extending all of this lead. The tornado does dip below the ledge, but MM Leo had just enough iframes. Time to just right. And Go, the projectile war used once more. Crash bomb gonna buy in some time, and here comes the throw. MM Leo doing such a good job. Another one as well, forcing him up into the skies, but he actually gets a confirm off of them. But MM Leo is not faced by it at all, and gets him with the snipe. Aimer gets eliminated, and nice earned 2 0 from MM Leo. Yeah, Aimer was just poking his head above the ledge one too many times. MM Leo finally caught on, didn't go straight at the ledge with some of these edge guard attempts, just stayed on stage played his game, know that even if he missed